what's up everyone i'm here with this very sultry gold glitter smoky eye makeup look it's very easy to do so if you enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up first i'm just going to prime my entire eyelids using this eyeshadow primer and then i'm going to take the modern mask palette by bh cosmetics i'm going to take this beige eyeshadow which you really can't see good on camera and i'm just going to apply that right underneath the brow and next, I'm going to take this peach colored eyeshadow and apply that right underneath the brow bone as my transition color. Next, I'm taking the Itch Duty Time Palette, also from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to take this soft brown eyeshadow and apply that as my upper lid color. And from that same palette, I'm going to take this dark chocolate brown eyeshadow and apply it to the outer corner and inner corner of my eye and then connect them in the crease. Next, I'm taking the Artist Shadows 2 palette from Makeup Forever, and I'm going to take this gold eyeshadow called Amber and apply it right in the center and then blend it out a little bit with a blending brush. Next, I'm just going to tight line my eyes using a black eyeliner, and then I'm going to apply this gold glitter everywhere I apply the gold eyeshadow. Next, I'm taking this champagne pigment from Shaney Cosmetics and apply it to the inner corners of my eye. And then take my black eyeliner, apply it to my waterline, and then put on my Ardell Double Up Lashes. And now that I have this one eye complete, it's time to do the other one. And then reapply some more of that pigment in the inner corners. Clean up, and now it's time to put on my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. For my foundation, I'm going to use Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation. I'm using the color N90 and I'm just going to apply that using a foundation brush and then blend it all in using a damp beauty blender. Now taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel, I'm just going to apply that to all of the areas I want highlighted and then blend that in also with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa and apply this for my contour and then also blend that in with a beauty blender. And now to set my contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium to tan. And I'm going to take the darkest brown and I'll apply that everywhere I apply the cream contour. Now I'm just going to take my MAC Invisible Setting Powder, which is just a white translucent powder. And I'm just going to apply that everywhere I highlight it and then dust it off. Now I'm just adding a little blush. I'm going to apply some of that gold and brown eyeshadow underneath my lash line and then apply mascara to my lower lashes. For this look, I didn't want to be too highlighted surprisingly, so I just applied MAC Strobe Cream to the high points of my cheekbones. And for my lips, I'm using Sephora's Cream Lip Stain in the color Always Red. And lastly, I'm just going to take Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and set my entire face, and then we have our finished look. Well, there you have it. I really, really hope you enjoyed this look. If you found it helpful, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button below. I love you all so much for watching. And until next time, please remember that none of us are perfect but we are definitely beautiful inside and out.